back for more more quick books online education here <laughs> my name is claudia i've been a bookkeeper for a long time i have my master's in accounting and i'm here to help you understand quickbooks so that you also can understand your financials and be able to take your business to the next level today we're gonna talk about your cash account what is the cash account what do i use for and how do i manage that first of all your cash account usually is not linked to a physical account it's just an account that you create in QuickBooks to manage all your cash transactions. Um, some of you may receive cash from whatever tips, if you have restaurants or if you're, if you're a service company that receive tips or other kind of cash payment. Um, you, you want to be able to record all your cash payments in QuickBooks and it will, if you don't deposit the money, those monies or in, in your bank account and you pay, let's suppose you pay employees or you pay expenses with that cash, you want to make sure you record it there so you can record both the income and the expense so you can have a accurate information that will help you understand the financial status of your business all right so <laughs> i talk enough yes let's let's go to quickbooks online and let's take a look at a cash transaction how to enter those transactions in quickbooks online okay here is the, our sample account we're on the chart of account and here the first one says cash usually you do not have those two arrows here and the reason i have those two arrows is because um it's a simple account is saying that it's linked but it's not i downloaded some transactions here <laughs> and it looks like it is linked but it it is not so you want to um this for instance is how it's going to look like so your cash account is created as a plus new you want to select the bank account it is a bank and there it is cash on hand and you can name it cash on hand i already have that so i'm not gonna create it again how do i record cash in if it is sales you want to create like a plus new and you want to create a sales receipt or invoice with the with the payment uh, if you create an invoice you know the you know the whole uh workflow you want to create an invoice record the payment into undeposited funds or and then record the deposit into cash or in this case if it's cash you can record that payment straight into the cash account that should be fine because you're not matching to anything right all right so sales sales receipt is usually what you use for cash payment unless unless you already open an invoice your client paid later with a cash payment okay we're gonna just select customer and um, i'm gonna select a service here online phone station and i want to be able to create the right uh, to s create this to a, a co the correct account if i if i have a sales receipt okay i don't necessarily need it to payments to deposit send it to payments to deposit or undeposited fund why is that because i'm not matching this transaction in banking if not i would have to send it to payments to deposit and then record it here okay all right, so we will uh, select the cash account and we're going to create this sales receipt and record this straight into the cash account. Okay, uh, now let's suppose that somebody came over the office and they, they clean up or whatever and I ended up just paying cash. How do I record this expense plus new expense and once again i want to make sure that i select the right 
account. So this is not customer, this is vendor. It's gonna select vendor. It's not American Express. I want to select this cash account. If not, it's going to go to the wrong place. And now I'm going to go ahead and say that I bought some supplies, some cost, the cost of goods sold. And I paid $100 for that. I have the right cash payment account here and the right transaction here. And I can save and close. How do I view those transactions? Uh, if you go to the chart of accounts, if you click on the plus, plus uh, on the top right hand side gear menu, and then click on uh, chart of accounts, my okay. Or if you go to transaction chart of accounts, it takes you to the same place. In the register, you can click on view register, and you'll be able to see all your income in your outcome okay so we have cash in cash out all right and that's how you manage the cash account now for some of you would ask how do I reconcile a cash account you want to make sure you keep records somewhere uh, so you can reconcile at the end of the month what you want to see is that every single transaction that you paid cash or received cash is added into the cash account. If there's anything missing, you want to be able to add those transactions. Important to keep the cash transaction up to date. Don't delay entering those transactions because it can get out of hand and you don't want to lose your, your deductions and you don't want to um, understate your income by, by not recording the, the income. All right. So now one more thing. You receive cash. Let's suppose that after you pay all the expense, you go to the bank and you deposit that money in the bank. So now when you see that money deposit, that cash bank deposit in the bank, how do I record that? Don't record it as a sale because if you record as a sale, I'm going to tell you what not to do. If you record as a sale, what's going to happen? is that um, you're going to duplicate that income because you already recorded that income in the sales receipt into the cash account. So all you're going to do here, you're depositing the money. Now you're saying to QuickBooks that you're taking money out of cash and depositing, in, depositing it, it to your checking account. So if you click on the deposit here, let's suppose that this is deposit uh, uh, the money deposit into the checking account you want to record as a transfer and out of cash account and there you go okay now this is 2023 so it's not going to show uh, <laughs> right away but that's how you do it and if you want to see it I will show you I'm going to go to my chart of accounts and I'm going to go to the cash account and I'm going to show that transaction in 2023. It happened in March. So I want to um, narrow down the date by clicking on my little funnel here. And I'm going to put it March 1st, 2023, by the way, uh, to March 31st, 2023. Apply and duplicating. We added that transaction, but I didn't. I didn't write down the the date. Let's do another one so that we know the exact date. <laughs> okay, back to Chase. And are we on the Chase account? Oh no, I'm on the Cash account. Yes. But the cash account is where the money was deposited. Uh, all right, so let's choose this four thousand dollars February. Mm, okay, click here. We're gonna record it as a transfer in out of the cash account. 
there it is and we're gonna add here February 23 I'm gonna change my date here so you can see it I'm not gonna forget it again <laughs> And there it is, four thousand dollars. Oh yeah, I found it thirty-seven. I just, I was off by a month. There it is. Okay, so that's how you record. So it, it says here that it's coming from the Chase One Two Three, and um, is going. I'm sorry, is going to the Chase One Two Three and coming out of the cash account. Okay, all right. That's it. That is it. That's how you manage your cash account. Let's go back to QuickBooks here. All right. Okay. I'm back. <laughs> okay. If you found if you found it to be useful, this information useful, if this content is useful for you, please subscribe to our channel if you have not. And please share with your friends, with your family, with the world, with your coworkers. We want to help as many people as possible. And every time you share, every time you subscribe, you're helping us. You're helping us a lot. And helping us bring, continue bringing relevant information that will help you run your QuickBooks online smoothly. I want to help you, but in order to help you, I need you to subscribe. So subscribe to our channel and I'll be back. I promise you, I'll continue to improve more and more and I will continue to bring relevant information that will help you run your books smoothly. Hope you have a wonderful week If and I'm going to see you next time. And until next time, keep on smiling.